Nope, that's probably really bad advice, or not even advice. That's not advice. advice. <laughs> that's, that's, <bad. laughs> that's not advice. We could use some advice. <laughs> And we are going to be answering your questions today. So I asked Instagram, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, go ahead and do that as Lauren.Budnick. He's Adam.Budnick. Sure. He's been uh, posting his workout videos, so that's pretty cool. So if you didn't know, we got married in January, so mm -hmm. it's been... <gasps> Almost a year. Oh, it's been 10 months. 10 months. So close. So yeah, we got married January 6th, and before that... We have our whole story, I'll link it right here so you can watch and I'll link it down below. We just talked about our entire story and how we started dating and all of that if you want to know. But basically we've been together since 2016 yeah. and we're touring together since 2015. So. That's a long story, but you should go watch the video. Alright, so the first question is, what is the hardest thing about your dating relationship? Like, Oh, like when we were dating? When we were dating. Definitely the long distance because we yeah. were, so we were touring together a lot when we first started dating, but I was also touring away a lot. So I was gone, what, probably like 200 and it was a lot. 280 days a year or something like that. So I was like away on tour or I was out at like summer camps or things like that. So I wasn't here and we had to text a lot and communication has never been like my strong suit. If you can't tell from my Instagram or anything like that. There's something in your teeth. Huh? There, I got it now. You got it? Just swallow. <laughs> oh, you do too. What? Where? Same spot. Get it! <laughs> I, I don't have fingernails. It's right there. Oh, I'm still there. I need to go brush my teeth. It's still being though. <laughs> it's like deep in there, you pushed it in. <laughs> Alright guys, technical break. Where? I can dig these coffee pots. Okay. We're back. Go ahead. Continue. So we were long distance the majority of our relationship. Uh, dating that is until we got married in January and we both kind of came off the road but I'm kind of bad at communication and a lot of my family knows that a lot of my friends have known that my whole life that like I'm not not super great at texting by any means or calling or like just communicating I'm more like out of sight out of mind and then when I'm in something especially when I'm working or touring or whatever I was doing it was like I was pretty much like in the zone there all the time. Um, so that was a big hurdle for me, I think, was just trying to realize that communication was worth it, that it was worth putting in the effort and the work so worth it. to grow as a human being. I'm worth it. You are so worth it. <laughs> uh, the hardest thing about my, our dating relationship, yeah, was probably the, probably the long distance, but I would say, okay, this wasn't a hard part, this was just a unique part, so it was interesting navigating it. Coming off from like my previous relationship and that being so serious and what it was, I think that was an interesting way to start our relationship. It was just like I was yeah. having to deal with, I don't know, baggage I guess of just yeah. where I was coming from. Like, I, you know, that's more, again, that's like in our story, you can kind of learn more about that. But, but basically, it's just like having to find the balance of being comfortable with this new stage of life, but also being really excited because I was in love. Yeah. So, next question is, was it hard adjusting to one another's living habits? No. So, not at all, <laughs> just because we had toured together for like a year before we even started dating, so we were so, so used to each other's habits, like how we brush our teeth, wash our face, how we leave things out, how we don't, whatever, all those little things, like we were completely used to, yeah. and it wasn't shocking by the time like we had started, well, we got married, essentially. Right. I would say though now, being married, there's been a couple things things where it's like that, I, that do change because you're married well I, yeah I don't know I think it's like the upkeep it's like we've never on tour we never had to do laundry yeah so that's true. those sort of things weren't like a question it wasn't something we had to deal with so I guess doing laundry is yeah. maybe in the cleaning. laundry dishes just like maintaining a household I think is different for us but each other's like quirks and like how we he gets up early I knew that from tour like he kind of does his own thing in the morning I knew that from tour yeah. he knows that I'm like really particular about my sleep he knew that from tour literally the first night on tour <laughs> that he joined I told yeah. him if he snored or made any noise in his sleep I'd suffocate <laughs> him with a pillow or throw it uh, at him or something I don't remember I was like welcome to the band yeah yeah exactly um, that was a little terrifying <laughs> so he was we I don't know we just we learned really quickly yeah yeah I don't, I don't think there's too much, but it's it's nice though to be able to get into a rhythm with each other now that we are married of like cooking. Like we love cooking and dancing together and like just hanging out in the kitchen and listening to music and just fun little things like that are definitely different now that we're married, but it's, it's great. The next question is, have you two had a big argument or debates yet? If so, how do you both solve your issues together? Yes, we have. Yeah. Like three of them and we got married in January. So I think we're doing pretty well. 
But, okay, what is it? Have you two had any big arguments? Yes, or debates yet? So the, the answer is yes, three. <laughs> if so, how do you both solve your issues together? Okay, so this is interesting because I've had actually a, a few relationships in my life and right. they've actually, most of the time they've been pretty serious and then I am Adam's first relationship. So the difference in our arguing is that I know that it's like part of the relationship and it's like, it's fine. Like we'll figure it out. Like we will make it work. We will yeah. figure it out. And it kind of rocks his world a little bit more. Like he's yeah. like, we're thrown off like balance. We're like not in sync. And that's like our thing is like being in sync and like being on the same page. It's like always been right. even the basis of our friendship. So anyway, it throws him off. He's like, what are we? Who are we? Where are we? What's going on? And it's like, look, we had a fight. We'll figure it out. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, but like, so me in general, I'm like absolutely not a wave maker. Like I'm super chill and my goal in life is no conflict between people. Yeah. So like when we have arguments, not only is it like the first time I've had an argument within a relationship that's serious, but it's also like just, it, it, it shakes up my whole existence. Like I just, I don't argue with people. I don't like, like for me, I'm, I've always been a like- He almost like doesn't care enough I, oh, right, right. I, I kind of will just like leave. Like I just will stop caring or I'll like go somewhere else or like stop talking to them or not talk to people about that thing or... He'll just move on. But obviously... We have to work through things. And he's never had to do that. Right. So that's been like, I think, the learning curve, right? It's yeah. Like we have like... Understanding. We have to face the issue. Yeah. And it's gonna be okay. Yeah. Like, I think yeah, that's exactly. the main issue. And okay, so I don't know if that answered how we resolve it. But basically we just, I mean, we talk through it. If it gets too heated, I like to just like let it settle down. Yeah. If it gets too heated, which has been those three times, I'm like, okay, settle down. And I just right. come to an answer. He's like, let's come to an answer. Yeah. Whereas for me, if it's little things, I'm like, let's talk this out. So yeah, I just feel like it really depends on if it's a big argument, I'm almost more calm after the fact because I'm like, whatever, we're married. We're in this forever. Like, yeah. It's gonna be Fortunately, okay. like we definitely both know we're in this for the long haul. Like there's yeah. there's no question. Yeah, exactly. So we're like, well, we gotta figure out this ish somehow. Yeah. So we do. I don't know. We talk about it. We we work it through. And like I said, those three arguments, like there've been tears, just mainly because it's like, oh no, like what's going on? We've been rocked. Right. I definitely want to add, like those kind of circumstances have only ever happened in the most high stress times of times our, of our lives. Marriage. So it's it's more that just the circumstances around us get so stressful that we're not as patient with each other as we normally would be. And the topics, every time we've had an argument, it's typically been like a very big, like a broad um, question. Like, what do you want with your life? <laughs> and somebody's right. like poking. Just the easy ones. Yeah, it's like really <laughs> intense things that it would make sense that are going to like lead to some sort of conflict. Right. So it's not been like, oh my gosh, you left out the pan? I'm going to kill you. <laughs> it's never like that. So no. It's no. definitely more serious things. Definitely. Anyway, next question. Oh, this is going to be interesting. How do you deal with finances together? <laughs> not well or very well, depending on how yeah. you look at it. It's, it's interesting. So like we have had so much change constantly since we've been married. So like literally. Like, we had career paths that we were on we and then even, we, we got married. Even, we can't even go into all of that even. And yeah. And, it's just and so much. It is. And so like I try to like take care of the bills as much as I can and she's kind of the saver. So like we try to not touch her money unless we absolutely have to. We do have separate, separate bank accounts still. I yeah. still haven't legally changed my last name. It's still Deliri. So yeah. That, well that just leads into a whole nother thing that like marriage isn't a transaction. Like we are still two very <laughs> independent people living within a relationship and, and... We make it work. I don't know. I just feel like when it comes to our finances, we take it seriously because we have to survive and pay our bills. Right. But at, at the same time, I don't think... We don't we, live we don't take for a paycheck. By no. any means. We, we don't take it more serious than like just sur surviving. Right. Do you know what I mean? Like, like there's no real arguments. No. Because we don't really spend money. Right. Unless we're like going to, <laughs> we don't buy things really. Like, I don't think we've bought new clothes in like two and a half years. Yeah. I mean, we I bought a, one pair of jeans. And I got a pair of like workout shorts. And that's it. So yeah. we don't have enough money to even talk about it. <laughs> like, that's to true. even like even have enough. a plan. Besides paying your bills every month, so I don't know. That's probably really bad advice, or not even advice. It's not advice. advice. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's not advice. We could use some advice. So any yeah. of you want to let us know? No, we don't. We just need money. That's true. So if any of you, just 
kidding. <laughs> okay, moving on. How do you work different views on some things from your husband as a wife? So I guess this is, you can answer too, but um, different views hmm. on some things. Do we have different views? It's on anything? very rare, and I'm trying to think if we do. Kind of. I can only think of one thing, because it's the first thing that we found out, and we agree on it now. We really don't have different views. We haven't run into anything yet. Yeah, and we've known each other since like June 2015. I think that's like part of why we get along, and why we, we kind of just like... I think we're both so open-minded that like, even if we had something that we disagreed on... Which there has been. We would come to a mutual agreement because we wouldn't just sit and settle on disagreeing. We I'm like, obviously, be... we respect each other's opinions, and so I'm like, oh, you must have some other knowledge, so I want to hear you out, you yeah. want to hear me out. And then we're like, oh, I didn't know that, or I don't know, I just feel like... And we're both very active researchers. Like, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. I honestly don't know. If we have something that we don't agree on, like we, I guess we kind of sort of have in the past, but we've come to agreeing on it now. So what we do is we talk yeah, a lot about the things that we don't agree on and Eventually. we share our hearts and keep in mind that like Lauren's intentions and Lauren's like heart and position on things and like her research that she's done like is always well backed. Her heart's always in the same place. Her intentions are always pure. Our perspective on life is the same and I think that's what makes us just uh, makes us agree on pretty much everything is that our outlook on life is the same. It really is. And 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 I think just having having such intimate knowledge of each other is so helpful in kind of navigating that because there's never a time where I'm like, holy cow, this is changing my world that you believe this. I can't believe you would believe that way about something. Just... Because even if you did ever believe anything that I'm like, what? I would just be like, well, there is like a couple, there's like little things that I don't know if you necessarily feel the same way. Like I, I kind of believe in fairies and yeah. things like that and ghosts. Do you believe in ghosts? I don't like not believe in them. Oh, yeah, see, I just don't know. I feel like we're both too open-minded to really disagree with each other. I mean, the good thing is, is we have a lot of our conversations that we have are just intellectual conversations. So we're kind of always challenging each other's thoughts and challenging each other's realities. Um, I would say, okay, you know the perspective of my thing is like, I believe everything until it's proven wrong. Yeah. And you're the opposite. Right. I feel like that was like something where like, oh my gosh, we see things differently. It was confusing. It was for like confusing. that hour we were first talking about it. We yeah. were just like trying to figure it out. And then we kind of just came to like, wow, you're so interesting. Yeah. You're so interesting. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And like just moved on. And I, I don't think and, and, we and let those little things make us feel a certain way. Right. And and I feel like we keep those things in mind. We keep the differences in mind so that we can see the positive things that come from those differences yeah. in each other. I just think. I don't know, we both respect each other, so why does it, it wouldn't matter. There you go, I feel like that's a really roundabout way of saying... Yeah, we don't really... We don't disagree. We don't usually <laughs> disagree about pretty much anything, so... Yeah. We'll let you know once we do. Yes, you will be the first to know. Official Kylie Con. <laughs> we'll make a video. We'll each make a video on each of our channels. Be like, gosh, be I like, think he's so uh. stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, well thank you so much for tuning in. Again, if you want to know our backstory, how we started dating and all of that, I'll link the video down below. If you haven't already, subscribe, leave some comments, we'll answer Please them. Do. That'd be so fun. <laughs> and until next time.